Hello, glorious beauties. I am Dragonflow, aka Frank, and this is my beautiful co host, Ozzy the Dog. So, I've mentioned it in uh, previous videos. If you usually hate the opposite sex, it's due to unresolved issues with the opposite sex parent. And then, what we do is we kind of project this. I mean, these unresolved issues towards the opposite sex in forms of hatred, in forms of malaise, in forms of uh, we're not comfortable around them, etc., etc. Now, the truth is, we're about like 7 to 8 billion people in the world. So there's 3.5 to 4 billion people of the opposite sex, give or take. So you can't have a problem with all of them. And most people actually don't interact with that many different people from the opposite sex to truly say, I don't like the opposite sex, all men are crap, all women are crap, etc, etc. Most of what we have is unresolved issues with our opposite sex parents. So if, I, if you're a man, you have issues with your mom. If you're a woman, you have issues with your dad. Now, the thing is, these issues might be so deeply ingrained in your mind and in your soul that it's really hard to communicate with the opposite sex because of it. Because maybe you weren't given the tools uh, from your opposite sex parent to navigate a conversation, little less a relationship with somebody of the other sex. And so I'm here to tell you, as a man, your goal is to put whatever relationship you had with your opposite sex parent aside and hopefully make your peace with it. And speak to as many people in a neutral way from the opposite sex as possible to diminish and turn off this fire of resentment or hatred or misunderstanding that you have towards them. Now, I'll be the first to tell you that you might get into relationships that aren't going to be the best. And some of this is due to residue of things that your opposite sex parent did to you that you might feel that are comfortable, comfortable, yet distressful at the same time. You have to get uncomfortable and find a way to make peace with the opposite sex. And this will create a real new, beautiful level of comfort where you can relate to the opposite sex and maybe build friendships and God willing relationships with them. So that's it for today. I'll keep it nice and short. Observe your relationship with your opposite sex parent and make your peace with it and converse with members of the opposite sex just to get practice and also to develop common ground and understanding. Namaste.